So I just came from SumoCon, which was a conference held by the guys at AppSumo, so like Noah Kagan, Neville Medora, uh, Brian Harris, like all these internet marketing and sales guys coming together. And I wasn't going to do a video on it, except something strange happened at that conference. I ended up actually buying experiment27.com's domain name. So in this video, I want to run through how that happened what the mindset was, how the negotiation went, and give you some insight into what it looks like to buy a domain. I'm Alex Berman from Experiment 27. So it was the Monday after the conference. Uh, basically, most of the people had gone away, and there was, let's say, around 30% of the people that were still at the conference just chilling in this one hotel, Sheridan in Austin, uh, just working downstairs. I was working upstairs because I had back-to-back -back calls for Experiment 27, but one of my friends, Z, was down there, and he was emailing with me back and forth. And this guy walked by and was, I guess, snooping on Z's email because he saw me and Z going back and forth. And he just happened to notice that the company that Z and I were talking about was called Experiment 27. And it clicked in this guy's head because he owned the Experiment 27 domain. Just full serendipity, right? How did this guy know? So for a long time, Experiment27.com was just one piece of text as placeholder. It said, welcome to Experiment 27 on it. And then our main site was Experiment27.co or x27marketing.com, which I've referenced both of those at the end of videos. So obviously I was hungry to meet the person who owned Experiment 27 and I just locked into meeting him at this conference. So Z introduced us both, we shook hands and he asked me a couple questions about the company, where we were and how we were doing. You could tell that he was just asking him to kind of gauge how expensive this domain should be. So I kind of downplayed our success a little bit. I told him we were a growing startup. We were just starting to validate the service that we offer and kind of downplayed it a little bit. And then I asked him how much the domain should be, right? What he wanted for it. And then he asked me basically the same question back. So he didn't even throw a price out. So I threw two prices out off the bat. First, I was like, I don't really know what a domain should cost. Maybe $1,000, $500. And he liked the offer of $1,000 for a domain. He had told me actually that he sold his last domain for $17,000. So I don't know if that was a deal or not, but I feel good about paying it. it seemed like he felt good about accepting it. We shook hands on the deal. I was a little worried uh, about buying a domain or actually sending this guy $1,000 on PayPal because I'd really only met him one time. We shook hands, of course, on this price, but I didn't want to get ripped off for a thousand bucks. So I asked him later, uh, we were on a phone call together. I was actually sitting outside of a Best Buy. I asked him about getting scammed. I'm like, is there something we can do where we can send it to someone to hold the money while like we wait and then uh, do like an escrow or something? And his response to this was perfect. He's like, dude, I'm not gonna rip you off for a thousand dollars. I live in San Francisco, we own two houses. So with that one sentence, I immediately gained a bunch of trust with this guy and PayPal'd him a thousand bucks. A few hours later, he asked for my GoDaddy info. I passed it over to him. He sent me the domain and we set up email. We set up the DNS forwarding and it's all set. Now, if you go to experiment27.com, you'll see our webpage there. It was surprisingly easy. And two of the reasons I wanted to make this video, one, I wanted to show you that domain buying is possible and it's not really people trying to scam you most of the time. I think having an experiment27.com domain is gonna be a lot better for our business. Because uh, now a lot of people were typing in experiment27.com anyway. Now it's actually going to direct to our page. So I think that's going to boost our number of leads. The other thing I wanted to make a point on is sometimes it, it pays to be trustworthy. You know, had we gone through escrow and added a bunch of fees and like made this deal super complicated for the domain, even signed a contract or done anything like that, it would have slowed down the deal and it probably wouldn't have been worth that guy's time anymore to the point where it just would have fallen through. So by trusting him a little bit, by paying up front, I got the domain and now our company has experiment27.com. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this type of storytelling content, feel free to like this video to encourage it. Subscribe to this channel for more B2B sales training. And if you need support for your digital marketing, check out experiment27.com. Thanks.